Thank you, Miss Hall. Thank you. Mwah. That's for you. Mwah. <laughs> what you say, Darrell? You doing fine? I am doing fine too. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in on Instagram. Hey, Miss Hall, how you doing? How are my YouTubers doing? Primetime Squad. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I was supposed to be, um, like I was saying, I was supposed to be live at 10, but I got a little behind working on a few cake orders. Um, one of the cake orders that I was working on was actually for the free promotion because most of y'all know I have a free promotion every month. So I had to hurry up and get that one done today. And I have to start on another one for tomorrow. Um, somebody needed a cake for a holiday party. So I'm working on a sheet cake right now as well. Um, but I'm here. I'm a little late, but I'm here. But anywho, what y'all thought about Star? Like, uh, I was gagging. Um, Star was a trip. Um, I did Empire review last night. That one was good too. I want. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do first last night, Empire or Star, because they both was giving me life. <laughs> but um, <laughs> little uh. Now, I have been saying for, I don't know how long, I don't know how long, but y'all can quote me on this if y'all follow me, but I said that baby wasn't uh, <laughs> Jason's. I knew that wasn't Jason's baby, but anywho, anywho, um, in the last episode, girl, <laughs> that baby, oh my God, and it was so cute, but did y'all know, like, I just, like, recently found out that, um, the actress who plays Star, she was really pregnant in real life, and that whole scene was real, like, did y'all know that, like, she really had a baby, like, not that the baby came, not that her real baby came on the set, I'm not saying that, <laughs> but she was really pregnant, like, really for real life pregnant, she really had a baby, I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Hmm. But anywho, anywho, um, <clears throat> in the uh, last episode, we had saw how Noah, he had asked his dad to be his manager, and he agreed. Um, we also ha saw how Simone's husband had snuck his way back into the States, ended up getting kidnapped for ransom, and Star, you know, I mean, Simone, you know, she came up with the money um, from Mateo's wife and managed to get him uh, his ransom paid so they can release him. Um, and also, Noah's dad and Miss Bruce done picked up where they left off years ago. Yes, Miss Hall, she was really pregnant. I read it on, um, where did I read it? On, uh... Was it Ebony? Yep, it was on Ebony. Yep, I read it on Ebony. I was like, for real? Because her stomach, you know, sometimes when you, um, when they have actresses playing pregnant on TV shows, you can tell they barely fake. Her stomach just looked perfect. Like, it was super perfect. But I never thought that she was pregnant. I mean, it sat up there like... Like, like it was real life, you know, pregnant. I'm like, whoever put her little belly costume together, <laughs> they really did a good job, but she was actually pregnant. So, anywho, congrats to her and her, I don't know if it's her boyfriend or husband. They said the guy's name was Joshua Coleman, and he was black. He's black. I saw his picture on the internet. So, I don't even know if that was their real baby. <laughs> because her boyfriend is black or if that was a um <laughs> a baby a baby uh actor <laughs> I don't know I don't know I'm gonna try to find out though but if y'all find out before me let me know but uh what do y'all think about Miss Miss Bruce and Noah's dad like I kind of had a feeling that they really had something serious going back on in the day but I wasn't for sure until last episode when they really started you know kicking it and messing around and you know sleeping together and stuff and everything but it looked like they just picked off where they left off you know years ago which was back in bed together <laughs> and then um oh cassie she had got arrested you know for money laundering and drug trafficking you know because she decided to go down for the love of her doggone alex exam what how do you say that man's name why well, i always want to say egg Alexander is okay xander 
silent the x is silent and we throw a z in there <laughs> and it's xander <laughs> but anywho um but this um you said she worked doing her pregnancy. Hex, yeah. She worked through her pre the whole pregnancy. I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at her at all. <laughs> Get your coins, girl. But I'm sure they was being really careful with her because, you know, there were scenes where she was wearing heels and she they had to go up and down stairs and, you know, things like that. So I'm sure they was probably being real careful. Probably had a real doctor on set. Two, I can imagine they probably had a real doctor because <laughs> you don't know. But I wonder if the when her water broke, I wonder if that, see, I'm going to have to do a little research to find out how much of that really happened besides her carrying a real baby. Like how much of that in the movie really happened in her real pregnant life. You know what I mean? But um, Brandy. When Brandy, okay, when the show first opened up, did y'all see that get up that Brandy was wearing? Did she not look gorgeous? I was like, you know, besides her hair, I mean, her hair could have used a little comb and brush, but she was in prison. Well, not prison. She was in jail. <laughs> she was in jail. So, you know what? Besides her hair looking kind of unkept, you know, I thought that outfit on her was really, really nice. I was like, oh, look at her wearing that white for Christmas. <laughs> But anywho, you know, she done came to her senses. She's now woke. So she claims she's serious about, you know, getting out of the streets and, you know, doing right by her family, making up for everything that she's done wrong against her family. Um, It looked like she was sincere. What y'all think? You know, when she was trying to tell uh, Carletta, you know, I I'm done. I'm done with Xander. You know, I, 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 I'm I woke now. <laughs> she was like, I'm woke now. But um, I don't know. I guess we shall see. I guess we shall see. But um, as far as uh, Star, when Star was getting, you know, teased at the uh, Christmas party, at the, um, not the Christmas party, but the... Uh, was it the Christmas party? Yeah, it was the Christmas party. When Star was getting teased by everybody, you know, about how much food she was eating, you know, when she was piling on her plate. Actually, that was a showcase. But um, her man, Jason, he had summoned her to the front um, and sent her so he could propose to her. What do y'all think about that? Like, she was looking like, um, first of all, first of all, I just decided to make you my man. Like, for a long time, she was like, I don't want no relationship. I don't want to date you. Yeah, we having a baby. Um, You do your part. I do my part. But that's it. But then, you know, he decided to, you know, propose to her and bought her a ring, got down on his knees and everything. You said the outfit was sharp and brandy. She needed her. Mm -hmm. She needed her family desperately because she was, ain't no telling her. Shoot. If she wouldn't have done what she done as far as Xander, she could probably be facing some real lifetime right about now. But um, like I said, she's woke. <laughs> and, and I hope she I hope she stays that way because like I said, it did look like she was really, you know, honestly sincere, especially when she apologized um to Cotton. You know, when she came into the house and Cotton, uh, she was trying to tell her son what to do, you know, go upstairs, whatever she was trying to tell him to do, give him some orders. And he wasn't listening. She came up in there like, boy, did your mama say? <laughs> he was like, okay, auntie, <laughs> and ran up the stairs. <laughs> but um, she, you know, she made up with Cotton and Cotton, you know, she forgives her. But she said, as long as, as long as you promise you promise to make up for all that you did, you know, because she just killed her father, killed her father. So, you know, Cotton big enough to forgive her for that. So I hope she do right by her, especially by her niece. You said some people think um, Jax, Jackson up to something. Ooh, hmm. You think so? You said Jackson? You think he up to something? Hmm, I don't, girl, I don't know. I don't know. Did I call him Jason? <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I meant Jackson. Why I call him Jason? I don't know what I'm thinking. But anywho, girl, I, I, I must be tired, Miss Hogg. I must be tired. But anywho, um... He was like, you know what, I want, uh, you know, I want to be with you forever. I love you, and 
da 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 and she was saved by the uh <laughs> saved by the person who came in to serve her like the process server saved her in the nick of time but her face her whole expression gave it away like when the server came and served her with those papers the cease and desist papers um he just he didn't even stick around he didn't even stay over there to find out what it was he just walked away took his little butt all around like a little puppy dog with his tail between it <laughs> between his legs but um he was kind of embarrassed but you know like i said star they just basically decided to you know be together together he just moved in with her like what last week <laughs> last episode he just moved into her but anywho um and miss bruce was cracking me up y'all when she said uh you know you ain't supposed to accept no yellow envelopes from no stranger <laughs> that is a lesson for everybody i have never been served but I know a lot of people who have been served and shucks. It's usually guys for child support. <laughs> no shade to any of the fellas I know that old child support. <laughs> but you better pay up because they don't be playing with that child support. But, um, yeah, he was like, don't you ever accept no envelope for She was like, I don't know. I don't know, shoot. But me, I would have been like, uh, me no speak low English. <laughs> uh, I don't know who Tanya is. Look, uh, she don't live here. <laughs> she tried the house next door. She don't live here. <laughs> but then, um, <laughs> because of uh, Carletta, you know, spilling that heartfelt story to Cassie about their father, I think that w was what really got her. Like, you know how Carletta was explaining to her. She always thought that Carletta, um, that her sister Carletta was the favorite. Like, she always thought she was a favorite because their dad always wanted to spend more time with her and was always giving her more compliments and always took her, her on rides with him and all that. And when she found out what really was going on between their father and her sister, she was, like, devastated. I mean, she, it, that was, like, the only thing um, that probably was going to get through with her. And I don't think Carlotta ever wanted to... Um, wanted to tell her that because she was already feeling like, you know, kind of left out. Like, you know, she was, you know, she, she thought her sister was a favorite. So I'm sure she felt, you know, left out like her dad didn't love her as much. And then for Carlotta to give her even more devastating news about their dad. But, you know, I think that's what helped her wake up, should we say, since she's woke now. And then to find out about the lady cop, um, the detective told her that the lady cop who was working on the cover was killed. I can't remember if it was by Xander or if it was one by one of those thugs. You know, one of those thugs from the crew that was working at the club. But, you know. I, and you know what? I wonder, Miss Hall, because, see, I was going to ask y'all. Hey, Shania, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? But what do y'all think about that? Like, as far as the father. Um... Okay, remember, was it last episode? It was last episode when uh, Carlotta went to the house and basically she freed herself on the porch. She told him, you know what, I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to let it go. You know, I'm let you keep them, carry them demons, you know, by yourself. And did y'all see how he looked? Like, did y'all see the face you're expressing? He was like, hey, wait, hey, wait. But she took off. Tell me y'all don't think that he had no idea what the hell she was talking about. And I, I, I didn't I didn't realize that at first. At first, I'm just thinking, oh, he's in denial. He don't want to confess, you know, what he did. He don't want to apologize. You know, he's one of those parents. I It's going to stay under the rug. If I don't say nothing about it, then, you know, <laughs> innocent until proven guilty. But um, when he came to the house and, you know, he brought... Uh, he brought gifts, you know, to the house on Christmas. And Carlotta was about to go off on him. And Cassie was like, no, 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 hold up. And he told them that she, that he was, uh, um, what is it, Alzheimer's. Told him that he got Alzheimer's and he's sick. I don't think he really remembers. He looked confused. Yeah, he looked confused. 
<laughs> he looked really confused. And that was like the same look on his face when he was telling about Alzheimer's. Like he didn't he didn't even understand like why they didn't even want him in their house. He was just standing there like, but I got Alzheimer's. I'm sick. So I don't think he knows. So what do y'all think? Do y'all think that Carlotta is going to end up accepting him back into their life? Being that he has Alzheimer's or do you think she's going to be like, I don't care if you don't remember, you know, it's a wrap. We through. I don't know. I kind of think she might, you know, she has a big heart. She has a big heart. So I kind of think, I don't know. She might be like pops. I forgive you and try to, you know, just accept him as he is, you know, until the day he passes. Because, you know, that Alzheimer's, that boy, that stuff starts. And then before you know it, people just dwindle downhill. But, um, oh, you didn't watch it yet? Girl, it was good. I <laughs> said, it was good. <laughs> but um, as far as uh, Cassie goes... Um, not Cassie, not Cassie, but as far as, uh, Miss Bruce, what do y'all think about Miss Bruce when he lied to Noah? I mean, when his, okay, when Noah's dad lied about Miss Bruce, like, did y'all think Noah really knew already that they was kicking it? Uh, when he had walked in on them in the studio and they was acting all, you know, like they was doing something, like they had got caught in something. He was like, hold up, hold up. Y'all like, y'all, you know, what what's going on? Y'all together? You know, dang, but Miss Bruce, what's going on? And his dad was like, quick, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. I think, um, <laughs> I think Noah kind of had a thought. Like he might have had an idea, but he just wanted his father to tell him. Um, his father, you know, uh, treated him not so well as he was growing up and lied to him a lot. So I think he just wanted to tell, wanted to hear the truth. Shania, you want us to tell you? You know we gonna tell you. But then, hey, it's, a, it's gonna be a spoiler. You know who the daddy is. You know who the daddy is. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Jackson or Noah? Y'all wanna tell her who the daddy is? In the chat. <laughs> it was, it's, it's Noah. It's Noah. <laughs> it was Noah. To Jackson, I was like, you are not the father. You are not the father. You should have seen that little baby come out, Shemite. It was cute, too. It was a cute little chocolate baby. Yeah, he mixed, but that baby was chocolate. Like, I ain't never seen no baby, no mixed baby come out that dark. Have y'all? Never. <laughs> if there was anything wrong with this particular episode, I would say it was that. They had that baby was dark. I ain't never seen no mixed baby come out that light. Shoo. Black babies don't even come out that dark. <laughs> but the baby was cute though. The baby was cute though. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. And then Jackson, he's like, he was devastated because he just knew, he just knew that this was his baby. Star was about to be his wife. They was about to live happily ever after. But, but when she um turned down his marriage proposal, at that time, I was thinking kind of like maybe she did that because she kind of had a doubt that the baby wasn't his, but then when she started apologizing to him after the baby came out, I was like, so you had no shadow. Come on now. You was mess. I knew since last season that that was Noah's baby. And I have been saying it over and over every time I do a, uh, <laughs> every time I do a review, I have been saying, I think that's Noah's baby. But, um, like you having sex with, two guys around the same period of time. I mean, I did not know it's not good enough. And that's even in real life. And females do it all the time, all the time. They be sleeping with multiple partners or they be kicking it with somebody and then they end up meeting somebody else shortly after. And even though that other person ain't in their life no more, they get pregnant and they just automatically like, don't say nothing. Like, don't say nothing. 
<laughs> she could at least told both of them in the beginning there's a possibility that it could be yours or it could be his. But she was like, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Jackson. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm like, girl, bye. <laughs> It is the truth, Miss Hogg. I see it. I mean, I didn't see it before. I didn't see it before. I'm like, I know if you mess around with two guys, it's hard to say, baby, we need to sit down and talk. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it is a, a, mm -mm -mm. then stuff like this happened. He was like, I can't even stay here. I need to go. I'm about to pack my bags. I can't stay here. He ain't trying to be no stepdaddy. He ain't trying to be no stepdaddy. Shoot. Him and Noah just now really um, being cool with each other because you know they weren't before. They were not cool with each other before. So now she got knocked up by him and this his baby. And she, I mean, what did she expect? I, but she expected him to stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some, so, I mean, I mean, I guess sometimes guys do stay, but I think he's just really hurt right now. And if she really, uh, really loves and cares for him and really wants to be with him, and she did say, "Ask me again before her uh, water broke." She did say, "Ask me again. Ask me to marry you." And then her water broke, so he really didn't even have a chance. So. I don't know. Yeah, that was sweet. I was like, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. I think he really had to like, he had to take it all in. Like, this is real. This is real. And this child is really not mine. Because when he came back the second time, it was like, uh, I can't stay. I'm moving out. So I don't know if that baby helped him realize if he, maybe he had to hold the baby to realize or to figure out, do I want to try to make it work or do I just want to leave her alone and let her and Noah, you know, raise this child or, you know, just, just step away. He might be back y'all. I don't know. He might be back depending on how they really feel about each other. He might be back, <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Then when uh Miss Bruce when she had uh was talking to Noah's dad y'all was Noah's dad again what's his name I can't remember I can't remember um but when he was out there talking to uh, Noah's dad and he was trying to explain to him you know I don't want to tell Noah right now you know he you know every he was trying to tell him you know basically after I, the way I treated him when he was growing up. You know, I don't want to upset him, but why would he think he would be upset? Like, Noah is not homophobic. So that couldn't be it. And if he thought that Noah was really going to be upset because he has a man now, and I guess I guess I can see if Noah was a young child and probably like, oh, dang, you just came back into my life. And now you're going to be with this person right here. And that's going to not leave as much time for me, you know, but he's a grown man. Shoot, he's a grown man <laughs> and now a daddy. <laughs> so I think he could have handled it much better than that instead of just outright lying, you know. But yeah, you said that was love for the baby. Uh-huh. That was nice because a lot of guys wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have came back to the hospital. They wouldn't have even came back to tell her they leaving. She just would have came home with that baby wrapped in swaddling clothing and everything of his would have been moved out, like completely. The big screen, the Jordans, the basketball, the clothes, the sweats, the... <laughs> everything <laughs> yep Noah's dad he do got problems he do got problems I don't know and it's like I don't know maybe Miss Bruce will help him get through you know everything that's going on with him inside because Miss Bruce is like okay sh I know she's like the female in the relationship <laughs> I know she's like the <laughs> I'm looking at all laughing at all your smiley faces <laughs> Um, I know he's the female in the relationship. Um, but Miss Bruce is so passionate. I think if Noah's dad gave it a chance and really like lived his truth, 
and lived out in the open and didn't give a darn what anybody else would say, I think they could, you know, have a great relationship. And he could still end up being Noah's, you know, manager because he did ask him to be his manager. But I think he just needs to start being truthful and stop trying to hide stuff. You know, everybody can see it. You could tell that him and Miss Bruce had something going on, like real serious once upon a time. So I was just waiting for it, just waiting for it. And I'm glad because Miss Bruce finally deserves a storyline. <laughs> like, finally, this is what, season three? And the only thing Miss Bruce ever has been doing was making sarcastic comments, doing hair, you know, cleaning up the shop. Um, but, you know, I'm glad this season they, uh, you know, gave her more of a storyline. So that's really cool. That's really cool. But um, how about uh, when Alex, when Alex was having her panic attack? When they were talking about talking to her about her performance, remember the, the reporter when she was talking to Alex and the other girls, and Alex started having a panic attack. Like, why couldn't she just tell the ladies that she has anxiety issues or you know panic attack issues? Like, they are like supposed to be so close, like sisters. She didn't even tell Carlotta. I, I, I'm just. I don't know. I'm just, that's just strange to me. But anywho, when she started having her panic attack, the reporter, her butt up there, <laughs> her butt up there just, come on, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. And Car Carlotta was about to take them cameras and shove it down their throat if they wouldn't have turned them cameras off. But I was like, oh man, she probably won't be able to do her performance. But she ended up, she was killing it. She killed that performance. Out of all the ladies, I don't know. I think I like her the most. I don't know. What y'all think? Do y'all like her the most or Star or um, or do y'all like uh, the other sister? I can't think of her name off the top of my head. Simone. Which one do y'all like the most? Simone, Star, or Alex? I don't know. After Alex killed that performance, I was like, hey... I was really feeling that. But I think with that, how she killed that uh, performance, hopefully that will help her at least a little bit with her confidence. And then maybe um, maybe soon the other ladies in Carlotta will get her, you know, into some counseling or get her some therapy or some medicine or, you know, something, you know, to help her with her panic attacks or her anxiety attacks. But I think it has a lot to do with her father, too. Yeah, me too, me too. But do y'all think a lot of that has something to do with her father? Like, because it, it usually seems like it comes on when she's feeling um insecure. Or, yeah, she was giving me Beyonce too, child. Yes, yeah, she was with them little jeans on. <laughs> I was like, go ahead, girl, work that stage. She was, yeah, she was killing it. Good. That was really good for her. That was really good for her. But the highlight of the show, y'all. Okay. Okay. When Derek's grandma saw that rapist at the mission in the cafeteria. And she was so frightened. Because Derek still wasn't sure who had did the rape, who had attacked his grandma. Um, he saw his grandma looking all crazy and she dropped the pan of food on the floor. And then uh, he was like, Grandma, what's wrong? What's wrong? And then he looked, her, uh, looked at the direction she was looking and he saw that guy. And then he looked back and she was peeing on herself. Like it was just running down her legs. He knew right then. Okay, that's him. That's the guy that raped and attacked you. I was like, man, I thought he was going to shank him. He grabbed that knife, but she was like, no, baby, no, baby. Please don't just take me home. Just take me home. But then when she was like, um, I thought he was going to take her home, but <laughs> you said, dear grandma, I got that. Second. Girl, I was living for that. 
first I thought, okay, when he when she when he grabbed the uh, knife and she calmed him down, she I thought they was just gonna go home. I really did thought they was gonna go home, and I thought Derek might come back and do something. But Derek done snuck out, went back to the house, grabbed the gun. Then out Al Alex, she talked him out of it. She was like, no, give me the gun, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then while he was still gone, his grandma, mm, see, that's some old school mess. That's some stuff my grandma would have done. I ain't even lying. <laughs> I ain't even lying. That's some stuff my grandma would have done. But um, she walked out there and he, ooh, how he was looking all cocky and stuff. I was like, man, she should just pick up that tray and just beat him in the face with it. He was just, ugh, he was making me sick. Like, literally making me sick looking at her like, oh, you miss me? <laughs> you miss me? <laughs> uh -uh. She was like, uh, you gonna miss, you gonna miss something. You gonna miss life. <laughs> but she did him good. She did him good. And she did it so slick. Ain't nobody ever gonna know. Like, she saved Derek from knife, you know, shanking him so he wouldn't have to go to jail. Then Alex saved him from being shot. He could have went to jail again, you know, for that as well. And then the grandma, but, um, oh, when she, uh, when she, uh, after she hu was hugging, uh, after she was hugging Derek, and she had, like, this expression on her face. Like, it's going to be okay. You remember that when she was nodding at him? When she was hugging him and she let him go and she was just nodding at him and looking in his eyes? I should have knew right there. <laughs> I should have knew right there. She was going to do something. She was going to do something. But she was slick. And that fool died right there. And then she walked out talking about silent night. Holy night. Girl, I was dead. I was like, what the? <laughs> it was a silent night, all right, because that fool was like all out on the floor. <laughs> I was like, boy, that gave me life. I was like, go, Grandma. Go, Grandma. And Derek ain't going to have to go to jail so that, you know, wouldn't be nobody look left to look after her after that. Shoot. She got him good. She, he was like, hello, my love. You miss me? <laughs> you miss me? <laughs> but yeah, he definitely deserved that, Miss Hall. He definitely deserved That's my girl. That's my girl. Girl, that's my girl. You said, go ahead, Tanya, great voice. <laughs> I got a little bit. I got a little bit of music left in me from uh, all them years in school and singing and concert choir chorus singing in church <laughs> all my life <laughs> but yeah I, I i can i can carry a little tune a little tune <laughs> but i'll be driving these kids crazy because around holiday season before i went live shoot i was singing um what was we saying silent night away in a man I, the kids just be in the other room like there she go again they don't even say nothing. I just be walking around the house singing Christmas songs <laughs> all Christmas season. But yeah, that was giving me life. You said you need to do Duchess Kelly Love Christmas song. What's that? Christmas song challenge? What Christmas song challenge? Do I need to look this up? What song they got to sing? I don't know. I don't know a lot of Christmas songs, but I can learn them. I know Away in the Manger, um, <laughs> Old Little Town of Bethlehem. <laughs> um, I'm, I'll look that up. There's a lot of stuff going around for the holidays right now. There's the uh, Vlogmas, which I really haven't been sticking to. But you're supposed to make like some little video every day during the month of December. And it had to do something with holidays or Christmas or, you know, something seasonal or something. But I'll try. You said check out his page. I'll check out his page. I'll check out his page. I'm really not a singer, though. I like to sing, but I'm really not a singer. <laughs> I can carry a note. <laughs> 
I can carry them. I won't get kicked out of the church choir. <laughs> hey, hey, QI, how you doing? You said just one, just one minute of any Christmas song. Oh, okay, I can do that. Sixty seconds. <laughs> I wonder what song should I sing? Hmm. I like that song by Chris Brown. What's the name of that song? What is the name of that song that Chris Brown song on that? Uh... Hang on a mistletoe. I want to get to know you. What's that song? This Christmas. That song. Hey. I might do that song. Hey. That's my jam. This Christmas, that is my jam. So I don't know. I might do that song. I don't know. I'll check it out. I might do it. I'll check it out. I'll go to his page <laughs> and check it out. I like him too, but I haven't been on his page in a minute. I haven't been on his page in a minute. But, oh, God, Lord Jesus. Okay. At the end of the episode, who was that lady? You said he's going to put a video together to release on Christmas Eve. Oh, cool. I'm going I'm to definitely have to check that out. But who was that lady at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the um show, I don't remember seeing her. The one that was sitting up watching the news and they had just announced that Star had went into labor. Like, who was that? And also, did y'all see Noah again the wreck? Like they showed like the previews from the next episode. Noah got in a wreck. Do y'all think he did? Mm hmm. Yes, the lady at the end of the episode, like, I almost missed it because it was a real quick scene. It was a white lady at the end. That Was that her aunt? Okay, okay. And then Noah, remember he was on the phone and he was looking at the pictures of his baby and then it was like a flash of light. And uh, was it Star's mom? I was wondering, was that her mom? I was wondering, was that her mom? And then Noah, he didn't got in a wreck. So next episode, I guess we're going to figure out how severely injured Noah was, but the, the truck looked bad. It looked like it was really beat up. That was uh the mama's sister. Oh, okay. I wonder what she back for. <laughs> I wonder why. I don't know. But Noah, I'm like, oh my God, I hope he didn't die. I mean, he literally just had a baby. I mean, let's say he did pass away. Let's say he did pass away. Then that could possibly mean that Jackson might decide to step up into the baby's life. What y'all think? <laughs> y'all know I be reaching sometimes. <laughs> I be reaching, like reaching, like trying to figure out what might happen. She's crazy. Uh-huh. I just, I don't even remember. It's been a minute since I even, I'm like, who the heck is that lady? I know she looks familiar, but I didn't even look it up. I just turned off the show and then started taking my little notes. But, um, and I actually was going to come at y'all, um, come at y'all, while I was making my little cakes and everything, but the kids is watching Friday in the main room, which is off of the kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it would have been just too much distracting. I was like, let me just come on in here. Let me just come on in my little room. <laughs> but you said Jackson stepped at, uh-huh. I mean, if, if Noah, I mean, I don't know. I, I hope he ain't dead. I just hope he's like a little injured and I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm glad that uh Alice, you know, she killed her performance, and I'm glad that the rapist was killed. 
<laughs> I'm so happy about that. That was like the highlight of the entire show for me. Like, really, it was. But, um, and then, oh, what do you think is going to happen with, uh, with, um, Mateo? Okay, um, not Mateo, uh, mm mm Brandy's dude. The guy who she took the, uh, she took the, um, the chip. She took the memory chip. Uh, and then she also took some money out of his safe. And then he kidnapped her nephew. I was like, no, he didn't kidnap the nephew. And then not only did he kidnap him, he, you see how he had him all tied up? His arms all tied up. He was all rope everywhere. I'm like, like he's going to do something to you. He didn't have to tie him up like that. <laughs> I'm like, he had him tied up like he was a grown man, like he could get loose and whoop off in his butt. <laughs> I felt so sorry for that little boy. I'm like, even though I know it's just a show, I'm like, oh my God, this has to be traumatic. <laughs> but yeah, he had him tied up like really, really tight, like he could bring him some harm. So I, I don't know. but And I don't know why they auntie is back. I, I'm going to have to try to figure that out. <laughs> Ooh, and that's what I'm thinking. You know, um, uh, I keep wanting to call her Brandy. But Cassie, she had, she made promises to her family. But she also, to, you know, get out the treats and do right by their family. I think this is going to be how Cassie really makes it up to her niece, Cotton, for killing her dad. I think Brandy is going to hit the streets one more again. One more again. I think she's going to put some work in the streets to get her nephew back, even though she don't want to. But I hope it don't backfire, and I hope she don't, like, go down for it, like, for the crime and have to go to jail. I hope she, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But he need to kill, she need to kill him. Somebody need to kill him because he don't want to let her go, first of all. He don't want to let her go with his narcissistic butt. Telling that other lady, um, what did he say? You are the only one for me or so. What did he say when Cassie was uh listening and she pointed the gun to him? Like she wanted to kill him dead, but she was like, mm -mm, nope, I got what I need. I'm out of here. And she just walked out. But somebody needs to take care of him because I think he won't leave uh Cassie alone unless he's dead. Like. For real. For real. <laughs> For real. You said they gonna kill him in the worst way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what? What if they double team up? I wonder if Carlotta gonna help. I don't know. That would that, that'd probably be some, you know, some sister, some sister girl stuff. <laughs> they both go at them. Mm -hmm. That's what I think gonna happen. Only one of that's what he said. Something like that. The only one she ever loved. And she was like, "What? What? Okay." I, she was like, "Okay, I got your money. Shoot, I got this little computer chip." <laughs> but then when he kidnapped her nephew, I was like, "Oh man." Oh, man, that's messed up. And I wonder if they even going to tell Cotton. I mean, I think she'll probably tell Carlotta or Carletta, Carlotta, and I think uh, that's it. I don't think they're going to tell Cotton. I don't think they're going to tell Cotton. But y'all, y'all need to let me know what y'all uh, think is going to happen next. Put it in the chat. Let me know what y'all think is going to happen next. Um... Let me know what y'all thought about the video. The video. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, on YouTube. And you guys, you guys make sure. You know we got a Facebook group. I know I mention it a lot. <laughs> because I'm trying to get um, a lot of people involved in the group. But we do have a... Let me see if I can get the link. We do have a Facebook group. And it's called uh, Tanya's Primetime TV. And I'm going to put the link in the chat. Okay. Toodles, Miss Hogg. And I'm going to go look at that video that you told me about. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, oh. Oh, duh. Gotta put on the number box here. I hate when you turn your computer off, then you turn it back on, and the number locks don't work. Like, why is that? <laughs> that is so irritating. <laughs> but, okay, I'm going to put the link in the chat to our uh, Facebook group, Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. Okay, there we go. All right, all you have to do is click on the link. It'll take you right to Facebook, to our Facebook group. Click uh, request to join, and I'll accept you into the group. Uh, for those of you on Instagram, uh, the group is called Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. That's the name of my YouTube channel uh, and the Facebook group. And then I have another channel called Tanya Knows No Limit, which I'm coming from live tonight. So make sure you check out both of those YouTubes, Tanya Knows No Limit and Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. So subscribe to both of those for me, please, and thank you. And those on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to or follow me on Instagram at Tanya Primetime TV. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. And again, thanks everybody for tuning in tonight. I hope you enjoyed the live and... Let me know again in the chat what you think might happen on the next episode. But in the meantime and in between time, primetime squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Peace.